Do you want to know why I love Justin Bieber as much as I do? Do you really, really want to know why I love him? It's not about his looks. I don't care how handsome he is. He could have third degree burns all over his face. He could have the most disfigured appearance in the history of disfigured appearances. He could look like that kid from freaking Wonder. And it would not change how I feel about him as a human. And also as a musician, like I have so much respect for him. For him to go through the stuff that he went through at the age that he went that he went through all that stuff. Like for him to to deal with people constantly just hating on him, you know. Having the whole entire, having, you know, ha like feeling like the entire world is against you and it being almost accurate to say that at 15, at 12. You know, of course he's going to do what he did, of course when you have all those expectations on you, all that pressure, all of that, you know, all of that demand on you. At that young age, yeah, of course, you are going to do drugs. You're going to have, you're going to have anxiety. You're going to be depressed. You're going to deal with things because you're being forced essentially to grow up prematurely you know like for him to go through the stuff that he did a lot of famous child stars now they went through a lot of the same stuff Justin Bieber did and in a lot of cases you never hear from them you never hear of them they don't make a comeback You know, they, they tend to sort of fall off the face of the earth. You know what I'm saying? But not Justin Bieber. Like, he didn't do that. I think what's different, what sets him apart from a lot of these other people before him, is that, you know, he had so much support around him. Not only from believers like me, even though, like, I wasn't a believer back then, at least in those days. Even though he had them. Like, it wasn't just them. It was... He has an incredible family. He has incredible management. And, like, probably the best team. Like, I'm envious. Like, if I, if I ever get big in the music industry, which is something... That I would like to do one day. I would. I would hope to have. A team. Like like his. I would absolutely. Kill to have a team. That dedicated. And not just a team. That's going to say. Hey Justin. What the fuck. Get the fuck out there. You know. People are waiting for you. You're going to disappoint everyone. But. Who will actually step back. And say. You know what. Get well, do what you have to do. That's what he has. That's what he was able to do. Not everyone is that lucky. I feel like most people are really not. No matter if you're famous or not. Most people aren't lucky enough to have people that are going to sit there and listen. He does. You know, he's married, which is incredible. I just remember when I first heard that. When I heard that he and Haley got married, I was sort of like, okay, you know, I was, you know, they're just a stereotypical, skeptical, ignorant bitch. Because I, I didn't, I wasn't a believer back then because I honestly 
I hated Justin Bieber only because that was what was cool. It was cool to hate him. You were seen as, I don't know, like you, you were kind of, you were seen as like a, a child or a, you know, you, you, you get ridiculed. For so much as freaking saying, I actually like Justin Bieber. You will get ridiculed for doing that. So, I didn't want to be disliked. I was a teenager myself, and I didn't want to be disliked simply for liking Justin Bieber. So I just followed the trend, because when you're in high school, middle school, yeah, of course you're gonna, of course you're gonna follow the trend that everyone else is following. Of course you're gonna do that, you know? It just, it's natural, you know? But, like, when I saw, like, when I looked back at some of those videos of Justin Bieber when he was 15, doing all the wonderful things that he's done for the believers, like, all the things that he does, like, looking at those little messages, like, he would literally put out little messages for believers, like, directed at them. Not even, like, because his management told him to do it. Nothing like that. He would literally just sit in front of a camera and just freaking tell his fans how much he appreciates them. This is what I feel about you fans. This. This heart. It's for you guys. I don't know a lot of artists who will do that without the backing of some sort of production. Like, I don't know who else out there besides maybe Nicki Minaj I don't know who else out there would go out and like make a video telling his fans how much he genuinely appreciates them without some sort of like sponsor or producer telling him what to say you know you know like it just it those videos they they were not manufactured like they did not appear that way and Despite what anybody might say, that's a very respectable thing, a very respectable thing for him to do. Because, like I said, not a lot of people are doing that. Like, nobody was doing that. I was dealing with a lot of stuff, you know? I was watching all those videos of Justin Bieber just being so, like, just being a human, you know? Being a human. Showing people... You know, what it's like to be a decent human being, you know, restoring my faith in humanity. You know, this is this is why I love him so much, because like not only is Justin Bieber the most incredible musician, like he's incredible. He's very OCD about his music. Sometimes you really like if you want to make it, sometimes you do have to be a little OCD. He's incredibly OCD about his music. Like, he will rewrite and rewrite and rewrite and re-record, and if anything's offbeat, one, one little, one little bit off that metronome, he's like, shit, I'm gonna do this again. That's someone who really gives a fuck about what they're doing and why they're doing it. 